Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up a ring alarm motion detector, which we've got right here. In order to set up the ring alarm motion detector, you need to make sure that you already have your ring alarm system set up and installed on the Ring app, which we've already done right here. Once you've done that, you can open the app, log in, and then click in the upper left-hand corner on this menu button right here. Now you've got a whole bunch of different options and we're going to click on set up a device right there and then we're going to select security right there. Now we've got different sensors that we want to connect. We're connecting the ring alarm motion sensor. So we click sensors right here and then it gives us options for different types of sensors. We're installing the ring motion detector, the second generation, which is the square device that looks just like this with a circle in the middle. So I'm gonna make my selection for the ring motion detector, second generation. And now I'm going to just click ready. It says tap scan the QR code button below, then find the QR code on the motion detector. It's located on the back of the mounting bracket and inside the battery compartment. When you find the QR code, scan it using the camera on your mobile device. So let's take a look on the back of the ring alarm motion sensor and you can see the QR code right there. So all we're gonna do is click scan QR code. Now we're going to scan the QR code with the camera right here and it should pop up in just a second and scan this. It says QR code captured, use this code. Now, all I need to do for my motion sensor to be added is pull out the little plastic tab that's right here on the ring alarm motion sensor. It says it's adding the device right there. Great. Our device has been added. Tap here to finish setting up. Let's set up your motion detector. The ring alarm motion detector is designed to secure rooms and hallways. We're going to ask you a few questions so we understand where the sensor is being used. This allows us to apply the correct settings and help you install it in your home. Let's click continue. It says, where will this sensor be used? An entryway or a room? In an entryway configuration, the alarm is delayed when the motion detector senses motion, giving you time to disarm your system. So if you put this next to your front door where you've got your keypad, it's going to work on the delay that your system typically has. So if you have a 30 second delay or a minute delay, what it means is that you can open up that front door even if motion is detected, and then you've got that 30 seconds or 60 seconds to disarm your system at the keypad. If you put it in a room, it will sound immediately. So whenever motion is detected and this is armed, this motion detector will go off and alarm the ring alarm system setting it off. So I'm going to set this up as a room configuration and then it will always go off whenever it's armed. So let's just take this and we're going to call it the family room and we can give it a name. I'm just going to call it motion detector and say family room. Now I'm going to click continue. Install your motion detector. Peel the backing from the mounting tape found on the back cover of the motion detector. Place the detector in a corner or a wall so it can view the entire area you want it to cover. The motion detector should be mounted at seven foot six above the floor. So on the back of this device, you can see what we have here is multiple strips that have adhesive on them. So you just peel off this little piece of plastic over the adhesive strip, and then you can hold it firmly on the wall for approximately 60 seconds, and it will be properly mounted and stay on the wall. Now you can see here it is slightly angled, so you can put this in a corner and it will work perfectly fine there, or you can put it in a flat wall, no problems. Now there are also several holes right here, so if you wanted to screw this in place, you could do so. And to do that, all you're gonna do is pop this off, and then you could mount it right through the screw holes right here, and then you just slide this back onto that mounting bracket, and you could do it that way. So let's go ahead and try and test our motion detector now that we've got it installed. Great, motion is detected because I'm right in front of it. So I'm just going to tilt it this way, and we'll wait for it to time out, and then we'll test it again with our hand motion. Okay, let's see if motion is detected when I wave my hand in front of it. it 
There we go. It takes about one second for it to register on the phone, but motion is detected, so I'm going to click Done. Success. Our motion detector is configured and ready to use. Let's click Done. Now let's X out of this and look at some of the settings for the ring motion detector. So I'm gonna skip out of this and I'm going to click up here again and I'm going to go to my devices. So click on devices and let's look for our motion sensor and it's this motion sensor right there for the family room. You can see its current battery life, which is right there. You can have it turned on or off for motion alerts if you want. You've got event history, so if I click in here, it'll tell you when motion was detected, and you can see when it was tampered with, when I opened up that back cover, and when motion is not detected. So really cool that you can see all the different history there with your event history on the ring alarm motion detector. Here we've got our mode settings. So if I click in here, I can turn it on away mode or home mode when I want it to be armed. So I'm just gonna leave it currently how it is. I want it to be armed only in away mode, but you could change that so it'll also be armed when you're in home mode. It just means that if you walk by it in home mode, it will trigger the alarm system. So let's go back again. Let's look at the motion settings here. You can set to low detection, medium detection, or high detection. We'll leave it on high detection for now, which is the most sensitive. Then you've got chirp tones here. So here you can choose your chirp tones. So you've got multiple different options that you can choose for if you have this making a tone when it is activated. So you've got a whole bunch of different options there that you can choose from. We're gonna X out of this and just leave it as it currently is. Let's take a look at the LED settings. And if you look on the front of this device, there is a little LED right there. So you can turn that on or off, but we're just going to leave it on for now. Now, if you wanted to change the name of the device, you would click here in the device settings and you could do that. And last but not least, you can test your motion just like we did before. You click here and then you can click test motion detector just to make sure that you've got it placed right or the sensor is still working. And it does see motion is detected and that's because I'm right in front of it here moving around. So we'll click done. So the ring alarm motion detector is really easy to set up and we hope you enjoyed this video. So thank you for watching this video on how to set up your ring motion detector for your ring alarm system. Thank you and we'll see you next time.